been meaning to put together a video for the Starlink and 5G installation I have running on the Storyteller. Um, what I've got is the Starlink flat high performance terminal. Um, the Storyteller van has a front runner rack. So really I just had to drill out the standard Starlink rack. I just put in a, uh, drilled in an extra set of holes to uh, do the mount. So the standard mount works fine. I also spray painted it black uh, to just really go with the um, front runner rack. Um, worked out all right. I see uh, Owl has come out with a, a new uh, mount uh, that would really help um, to go onto here. I would have loved to have that option, uh, but this worked out all right. I didn't do anything special with the uh, cable mounting. You know, uh, Starlink, uh, SpaceX uses the uh, proprietary cables they have or, you know, our connectors, really. Um, also, the High performance terminal actually has a pretty stout cable. I'll put a picture with the um, details of the cable into uh, the notes and make some comments there. Um, but uh, bottom line is that they push a lot of power through this. Um, my installation on the Storyteller uh, is really running with the standard uh, 12 volt, uh, 20 amp connection that Storyteller has available on the side. The key thing is that you can run this put completely on DC from outside, and I've mounted everything outside. Um, I'm using this Pelican case. Uh, it's a 1550 case. Again, I'll put a link in. I have the black case, which is actually kind of foolish. It was the only one available. Um, if, if there was a white one, it would do better thermally. I've had this in, in high heat. I've been running for a couple weeks. We've been traveling around um, um, from Seattle area out to Minnesota. So currently in Montana and just walking through this. So what I've got going on here, and sorry, there's a bit of background noise going through um, as cars are coming in. Um, I've routed everything through uh, uh, a PepWave uh, 5G model, uh, module. It's the uh, BR1 uh, 5G Pro. Um, it has uh, 5G and, um, and also you can tie it into a, uh, uh, a a WAN port, so I just run the standard Starlink power supply with uh, an inverter, and again, I'll drop in the model number, um, and just tied it all to a, uh, a PepWave uh, antenna system. And then I just used the grommets that came with the system uh, to punch, punch through the side. And I also should note, um, to mount to the um, front runner rack, I just dropped in some uh, stainless bolts and then drilled through the case here. I uh, just had to do a little uh, alignment to get these um, to uh, uh, punch through at the right locations in order to line up with the, the tracks. Um, but anyway, this is just a, really a standard um, hex for, I, I think, an M8 bolt. Um, I'll, I'll add details again in the notes here. Anyway, so bottom line is um, everything is outside. Just I, I didn't do, need to do any penetrations. I just took an existing 20-amp, uh, 12-volt uh, 20-amp port that Storyteller makes available on the roof, uh, routed it into here, it runs to the inverter, powers up the um, uh, power supply, but also then runs the, the PEP wave unit itself. Uh, pretty simple, uh, straightforward, uh, no, no penetrations into the, into the facility, and then you have very flexible uh, 5G uh, service as well as Starlink. Anyway, yeah, throw any questions in the comments.